Hi guys, today I'm back with another home cleaning project, but this one is a huge cleaning fail, and I'm gonna tell you exactly where I think this went wrong, so that you can avoid the mistakes that I made when you're cleaning your own upholstered headboard. Okay, so the first mistake I made, guys, was letting my headboard get this bad. These are pictures from my bedroom three years ago, and if you look closely, you can see the little shadow already showing up of that stain. I've always had longer hair, guys, and I didn't even know that head oils could stain a headboard until I got married and noticed this stain start showing up on the side of the headboard that my husband uses. So he has short hair. Eventually, the oils from your scalp will build up on the headboard that you're leaning on. And again, I had no idea that this was even a thing. I had no idea how to clean it. I love this linen fabric. I just sort of ignored it while I was doing all of my other home remodeling projects, but now it was time for me to figure out how to clean it. So I grabbed my trusty little Bissell Spot Clean Pro. I've been using this thing to clean everything in my house lately, and it's always done a wonderful job. I have a video showing how I clean my really gross car seats with it, how I clean my area rugs in my house with it, how I clean my couch with it. Check those out if you wanna see those videos. For all of those, past cleaning projects, the Bissell worked just fine with the standard cleaner that it recommends. So I used the normal amount of cleaner in the past, set up my Bissell the normal way that I always do, and it worked just fine, even on chocolate milk stains, on deep set in dirt on my area rugs, on some older stains on my couches, worked perfectly fine. So I got to work on this headboard thinking, okay, this is going to really cut through that oil that is left behind from your hair or your head. This was probably another mistake. So I worked on it with the standard cleaner. I worked on this headboard for probably 15, 20 minutes. I kept doing repeated passes, trying to get rid of that yellowy, oily stain. And it, it did reduce it, probably by half eventually in the end. But I think I should have started with a pre-treat. So Bissell recommends for tough stains a pre-treat. If I had tried the pre-treat, I might have had a better chance. So again, the two mistakes that I've made so far is letting the stain get this bad, letting all of that oil build up on that fabric was a mistake, and probably not using a pre-treat. The recommended pre-treat on this was a mistake. Okay, at this point, it's looking a lot better, but I knew it wasn't going to get all the way out. So this next thing that I did was another huge mistake. I used OxyClean that I soaked in water. So I diluted some OxyClean with water thinking, OxyClean's a great cleaner. It's gonna get whatever stain is left in this upholstered headboard, it's gonna get it out. So I dabbed on some of that OxyClean cleaner, let it sit there for a couple minutes, hoping it was gonna break up the oils that were left in the headboard. And then I went to use the normal cleaner that was still in that Bissell Spot Clean cleaner to remove all of that OxyClean, but that OxyClean seems to have lifted something else out of the probably the foam that is made that the headboard is made with. So this weird greenish dark stain all of a sudden lifted up from that OxyClean. So I do not recommend using OxyClean to try to clean the your upholstered headboard. Things only got worse from here. You'll see in just a minute. So this is the Oxy that is used in your washing machine to wash your clothes with. So this isn't one of those special upholstery cleaners or carpet cleaners that has Oxy as a, an additive. This is the laundry detergent Oxy. So don't use that on your headboards. It mixed with the oils or it mixed with the foam in the headboard or something and it raised a stain. So you can see sort of a darker stain starting to show up around it. And that even seems like the oily part of the um, headboard got yellower, if that's possible. So I don't know if the Oxy mixed and it sort of made that yellow stand out more, but at this point, it was just getting worse, not better. So in the end, guys, I spent another 15 or 20 minutes working on this whole headboard, trying to soak up all of the cleaner, all of the Oxy, and get rid of that darkish stain that showed up. I let that dry overnight, and then the next day, I spent another 15 or 20 minutes using a mix of 50% um, alcohol, espiral alcohol, 70% strength alcohol mixed with water. So I'd seen this was recommended to use alcohol and water on oil stains on a headboard, 
And I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. I wish I had done that instead of using the OxyClean. Maybe if I had gone straight to the alcohol water mix, it would have made the headboard look better. But if you can see, there's just like this weird darkish green shadow in the spots where I dabbed on the OxyClean. And I know it's not completely obvious, and the headboard does look better than it did when I started, but it's still not good enough. And I've decided I know how to upholster things. I upholster things all the time. I have videos showing how to upholster things. It is time for me to just let go of this linen fabric and reupholster this headboard. So keep an eye on this channel. If you want to know how to upholster a headboard, I will have a tutorial for that coming soon. And guys, give me all of your cleaning tips. I want to hear about how you would have cleaned this headboard. I know some of you are going to complain about how I let it get so dirty in the first place, but hey, I'm a busy gal and I didn't want to deal with it. I would much rather tile a floor than clean a headboard. What can I say? That's it guys. Have a great day and thanks for checking out this video.